Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we'll look at how we can use regular expressions with our find and replace operations to make ourselves that little bit more productive. So you're more than likely already aware of Command and R or Control and R to bring up your find and replace box and maybe in here we want to replace type of text, so type equals text with type equals string. So really straightforward and all very good and it all works, no problem. But then it gets a little bit more complicated when we've got a little bit more of an advanced situation. So what I've done here is I've made a mistake where I've set the scale to be a string and it should actually be an integer. The problem here is that the scale is slightly different for each one of these options. So to do this, you might obviously start the same way. So you'd be like scale equals something inside those speech marks. And then we want to replace the whole thing, but we don't want to have to go through and replace each of the, the numbers uh, and make potentially make mistakes. I have to check it against a diff or who knows what else. Anyway, so as I say, we've got in here the scale of two. We put in two, it's only going to match that one. Three, it's only going to match that one. So how do we fix that? Well, there's a couple of things that we need to do. Firstly, I don't want to have the speech marks in the replacement, so let's get rid of that. What we need to do is say, we want to match a character inside the speech marks. So for that, we can use the full stop character. But this isn't actually going to work until I turn on the regular expressions option. And you can see now that it's telling us that it's going to match all three of these, which only solves part of the problem, though, because it, we need a way to pass that down. So if we was to do a replace now, you can see it semi worked, but it didn't quite work as we we're expecting. So what we need to do is instead pop some brackets around this and what that does is it puts it into a matching group and that is then available to us inside the replacement so we can use dollar one and say we had multiple matching groups so in here maybe we had another group that was matching something else and then another group that was matching something else and so on so these would be available as like dollar one dollar two dollar three and there's just that's not php storm that's just regular expressions in general so that should now work what we should do is when we replace we're just going to get the value that's in that matching group without the brackets so if we replace that now we're, we're good but then we've got this precision one that we also need to do so let's just copy out precision pop that in there precision and precision and you can see now we're matching two but not the third one and that's because of the the match in here is only matching one character so we need to tell it to match more than one character so we can use the plus symbol but the problem here is if i replace these round i don't need to do it on all of them i should just be able to do it on this one to demonstrate what i mean so say we hadn't done that first replacement and we got the precision and the scale back to front for some reason on this one. I mean, it can happen. Sometimes you get messy with the, with your settings and whatnot and your annotations or whatever. So we're back to front in this, this version and we've hit on a problem and it's not immediately obvious as to what that problem is or why it's happening. But PHP Storm is nice enough to actually highlight what the match would be. So let's just get rid of that for the moment just in case that's in any way confusing and close that off. So what this is saying is match any single character one or more times and then put it into this matching group and it should be anything inside these speech marks. But what it's doing is it's saying precision and starting that first speech mark and then it's matching one or more characters. So any character until it reaches the last thing in the string that matches that. So that's why we get the, the full thing down to there. I mean, if we was to take that one out, obviously it jumps to that one. And if we didn't have that in in the first place, it would just work. So sometimes, and this is quite common, obviously, honestly, with regular expressions, you can get away with being wrong sometimes. It's only when more characters end up in your string that you can find that your regular expression was perhaps not the most optimal, shall we say. So anyway, this is quite a straightforward problem to fix. All we need to do is pass in another character. And if we pass in the question mark, now you can see it's fixed that up for us, no problem. And that's because we switched it over from greedy to being lazy. So yeah, it's a little regular, regular expressions got some funny terms in there, honestly. If we swap this out now again, set this off to be dollar one again, and you can see there we've gone through and sorted out our problem. But sometimes we also have other problems in here. So say we wanted to change our variables all from protected so I'm private, sorry, to be protected. You can see one of our comments has got the word private in there. Uh, let's just get rid of that. So we want to swap this out to be from private like that to protected. And you can see in there, it's going to do everything for us, but it's also going to catch that comment, which we didn't want to happen. So what we can do is instead, well, firstly, in PHP Storm, actually, what we could do instead is just highlight the section that we actually care about and making sure that we tick the in selection box 
then when we do the replace, it's not actually going to affect that one, which is great. And that's a PHP storm uh, bit of bit of magic for us. But at the same time, it doesn't actually solve the problem if you were, say, outside PHP storm or whatnot. But there are, as ever with regular expressions or just programming in general, I guess, there are multiple ways to solve this. For example, what we could say is we know that this string in this case is going to have four spaces before it, but this one's not. So we could use the start of the line character, which is the caret slash s to match a space and if we pass in the plus what that's going to do is match the space as many times as possible before it hits the word private and if we put that into a group then what we can do because otherwise if we don't put this into a group what's going to happen is it's going to remove all the spaces it's going to do what we want and that one's not changed but it's it's going to remove all the spaces from the start of the line there may be a better way to do this honestly but what we could do is just if we put that the amount of spaces, it doesn't matter how many, but as many as it's matched into a matching group, pass that in beforehand as the variable and then just replace there and that matches up for us, leaves the word private in. And you can swap that out instead of using the beginning of the line, you can also use the end of the line, so the dollar. So as you can see, we've also got a, a comment that's got a semicolon in it for some reason. And perhaps we wanted to change the end of the line for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why you would. But say you did, we could say that the end of the line is going to contain a semicolon. And if we pass in the dollar at the end, you can see now that that only matches. So if we get rid of that one, just so it's not that confusing. You, the, the semicolon dollar means at the end of the line. So as long as the end of the line, the last character in the line is, sem is the semicolon, then this would be part of the match. And let's just say, for example, we wanted to replace that for some reason with three or many colons. So let's just replace that. But you can see it didn't actually affect the comment because that was not the end of the line. Of course, that's completely broken our code, but that's a, a different issue entirely. So hopefully you can see from that that regular expressions can be incredibly powerful and also a massive time saver. And I'll link to more in the show notes as how to use them with specifically with PHP Storm. But honestly, there's only really six characters that you really kind of need to know. And from there, you can build up more and more advanced matches.